Hey guys, I'm sure you're sick of me by now, but um, we're talking about favorite nine millimeters, and um, some of my favorite, I think I have like 17 nine millimeters pistols, maybe. But anyways, this is one of my favorite ones. My mom actually got this for me when I was like 21. Found it in a actually a yard sale. Guy was um, gonna become a trucker, and um, he wanted one of those like PSPs with the little crappy movies and stuff. And I got this for 350 bucks. It's a Beretta Inox, and I have the original barrel still, but this is a threaded barrel. Sportsman's Guide was selling compensators back in the day, back in the day like 12, 13 years ago. And um, I bought one, the barrel. And the barrel's got some nicks and crap in it, but I just got to polish it out. But, I mean, this is a real fun shooter. Ho grips, which are really not such a fan anymore. I mean, not with my hands. They're all right. Um, this has got a, I got an Eagle mag in this right now. It is unloaded. And um, I checked it before I... But, um... Yeah, this is like one of my Berettas. I got three. Two or three. Two? Three. Ah, hell of I know. But this is a this is one of my favorite pistols to shoot. Beretta Inox. This is, this is a 17 round mag. And these were... I used to get these for six ninety nine a piece off Gun Broker. And they're just... They work, you know? I mean, I have um, factory 17s and 15 round mags. Aftermarket 33 round mag. But, um, this is just one of my favorite shooters. Get on. I believe I have a Wilson Combat Guide Rod on this. I mean, I, I take it out fairly often. But it's just an accurate pistol. It's kind of got that Leon the Professional look, but, you know, a little bit more pimpish with the stainless. Yeah, but um, bacon, you know, I really like my mag release there. I understand, got that 92S, love them, but I like my, I like my mag release right there, bud. But, you know, you can't go wrong with a Beretta, except for when I first got this, I did have to reprofile the feed ramp, because it sucked. I mean, with... You know, everybody gives uh, Winchester White Box a hard time. I'm sorry, but if your gun don't feed at least Winchester White Box, get rid of it. Because um, I never had any problems with it. You used to buy that. It was 100 rounds for like less than $11. Now it's like two and a half times that. But this thing, after I fought, did some grinding against the feed ram and polished that all out, it's been an amazing pistol since.